Welcome to my video and this is going to be uh, part one of a multi-part tutorial uh, about my iron farm that I have built on my server, the Birch Church. Um, the link in the description to my discord and everything else if you want to know more about my server. And I avoided talking about stacked iron farms for a long time um, even though I, I recently realized that my channel was built on stacked iron farms. Um, my very first video on my channel was a stacked iron farm. Uh, way back in like 1.9, 1.10, that area. Um, link right here in, in this card. I'll try to put it right here on the screen if I can figure out how to do that. So in this part of the video, I want to talk about each individual module or, or, or village or farm. Because it's, it's not a, a one farm, it's many farms combined together to produce 7,000 ingots. So I built one here on the left side of the screen that's made entirely out, it's not made entirely out of glass, but made out of glass so that you can see through and you can see the, where the villagers are and the workstations and the beds and all of that. This world will actually be available on my Discord as a download if you want to look at it. And on my right, I have stacked in another village. That platform is 16 by 9, which is the basis of the each individual module. And you'll notice uh, Iron Golem's dying here in the background. The uh, wooden fences for the second village there on the right are only there to keep those villagers from doing anything dumb. Because if you give villagers a chance, they will do things like jump off or figure out how to push each other off or it's, something real bad will happen. So they are fenced in for the moment, but that is only for the, for the video. You don't actually need those fences. Let's just jump into this. Now, for the first um, village, I want to show you a couple of things. We have 20 villagers. You don't need these blocks right here. These were put in during construction. But you have 20 villagers, and you could easily trade with these villagers if you wanted to. I chose not to on my server, just because we have many, many trading halls. But it is 16 by 9 for the lava blade. And then the ingots go off the side into a collection system. And you can design your collection system however you want to. We'll talk more about that in, in uh, part 2 or maybe part 3. And here is, I stacked in this village. This is a separate entire village from this. And we'll talk more about the stacking of the villages in part two, for sure. So to build this, we need a couple of things. One, we're going to need iron blocks. We're going to need beds. And we will need those things later, though. And one more thing that we're going to need that I didn't get, which I should have, because... I'm just not used to um, filming tutorials very much lately. Is we're going to need food because we're going to breed these villagers. So we're going to build it the same exact way we built the, that one right there. A three high wall all the way around. Now when you get to this part, leave this section right here off. So one, two, three, four. We're going to build a wall right here. And this is to separate the builders from the beds. And it'll make sense here in just a minute why we're doing this. Now these right here are just going to be temporary blocks. But we're going to place beds. And you need these temporary blocks underneath to support the beds. Because you can't put a bed on top of another bed. 
and that's 14 uh, that's 14 beds right there And it's become pretty obvious why we left that wall off. We're going to cover these up like this. Remember, this platform started off as 16 by 9. Now, we can come in and now remove these fences. And this is exactly how I built it on the, on the Birch Church server. Only I did it in survival. I didn't do it in creative. We're going to go ahead and give those guys some food so they can start bringing the builders up. And this is exactly how you'll do it in survival. There are 22 beds now in this village. I knew, I know we said we would talk about spacing and stuff in the next video, but just know that this village and this village are so far apart that these villagers can't see these beds or these villagers and these villagers can't see these beds or workstations either. So you will need 20 trap doors of your choice, but obviously birch works the best. Um, if you have a lot of iron, you can also use iron doors. I don't really like doing that, but you can do that. Um, you can break these beds at this point because you don't really need them, but you can also keep them if you want to. I like to keep them because it gives me 22 villagers when they breed up. And that way, if I have any uh, nitwits, I can kill them and, and not have to wait any extra time. So these villagers will continue to breed. We're going to work on a, an additional part. Now, now we're going to go ahead and work on the upper parts. We're going to put a row of blocks like this. Now, when I built this on the server... We actually had a problem, and that is if two golems spawn too close to each other, they would bump each other up on top of here. Hang on, let me see how many blocks I placed here. Okay, that's what I thought. So at this point, it should look something like this. We're going to place signs like this. Now, on the Birch Church server, I actually placed 
um, iron pressure plates just so they blend it in a little better. But you can use buttons, you can use stone pressure plates, you can use pretty much anything you want to to spawn proof this. You can even put an extra row of blocks and put glass blocks around or whatever you want. But you need to spawn proof this so that golems don't spawn up here on the on this ledge. And like I said, if you're concerned that two golems might accidentally spawn here in the corner or something like that and bump each other up, it has happened once or twice on my server. And I've had this farm going for, I don't know, eight, nine, ten months maybe. I would have to look at the exact date. It's super rare, and the only thing you have to do is go down there and then bump him back in the water, and it, and you're back in business. So, if you want to spend the extra blocks, go ahead and do that, and if you don't, then don't. It's not that big a deal. So, one, two, three, four. Count in. One, two, three, four. You'll notice that the lava meets and everything is covered. And at this point, you may see some fires right here, but it's not a big deal. I am going to just sit here and wait on these villagers to breed. Um, I'll come back when they are all bred. When they have, are bred. I'll, I'll do a time lapse. People love time lapses. So I'm going to do a time lapse. I'm going to be really quiet. Maybe I'll play some, some interesting music I'll find. And we'll come back when it's ready to go. Now that all your villagers have become adult villagers, it's time to close this off. And break these beds. You can also go ahead and place the water. And as you can see, our other iron farm is still working. Now it's time to play a game I like to call, Are You Too Good For Your Home? And the last two players get executed. 
If you have any nitwits, you should have already gotten rid of them. And so you should have 22 uh, adult villagers. And if you get a guy that's stuck like this, don't be afraid to punch him. You just want to do this as quickly as possible. Now this doesn't have to be glass. This can be anything, dirt or whatever you have available. I'm just using glass because it was already in my hotbar. And you're going to find this much easier to do during the daytime than you will at nighttime. Now, one of the things that you will find is a real pain are the cats. Because just like you, the cats can push the villagers around also. So, if you need to, you know, do what you got to do. You can also use water buckets to move these guys around. You can block off areas where they can't get there. Do whatever you have to do to get these builders lined up just like this. Okay, see, I'm gonna I'm gonna push that guy over and I'm gonna block him in. So he's essentially in that hole. And I'm going to do this in real time. I've done this hundreds of times. So I'm, you know, fairly versed in it. So I, I, I will make it look easy. It obviously won't be this easy for you if you've never done this before. Um, working, moving villagers around is probably one of the things people find most difficult. I don't find it to be that difficult. <clears throat> like I said, I, I, I genuinely understand that I make this look easy. Oh, we're about to have some losers. Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Oh, you don't want to play. Okay. I have a feeling it's suddenly becoming nighttime. And everybody's getting a little sleepy. Get rid of you. Yeah. We are going to throw down a bed, sleep. We're going to break that bed because we don't want any more builders being bred. Okay. Time to punch the villagers. Somebody run to that end. Don't make me look bad in front of my friends, bro. Get on over there. Oh, I have some bad news, guys. You, get in your hole, buddy. I have some bad news. Everyone look away, because these guys just lost. Okay, now everything should look like this. I'm going to leave that door. Actually, I'm going to close that. But I am going to put glass back here. Because I don't want villagers to do anything dumb like running out the end of the building. And what we're going to do here is we're going to place a workstation. And that guy is the winner. And we're going to do it just like that for all 20 villagers. You, you do, you let the guy change and then you place it on the next one. I'm going to do this a little faster than you probably would.
one word of caution now that we're finished i will say is once you start stacking multiple villages and you have multiple villagers and you start getting into you know hundreds of villagers you start getting a little bit of lag that you'll notice and it may take longer for villagers to link to workstations and beds and things like that so don't be discouraged if you place a block down like this and nothing happens for a few minutes it may take you know 10 seconds it may take five minutes there's really no way to tell because uh, your device is going to vary so much and essentially that's all there is to it we heard one of the golems dying while we we're down there but we'll stick around for just a second to watch some golems spawn and we'll see them spawn in both villages see we have one over there on the right hand side but spawning and we have one here on the left hunting spawning see so we now have two separate villages that are stacked this is how you build each module um, if you have questions comments please leave them below please visit us on our discord the birch church um, we can help you there I can we can share videos and pictures and things there um, there will be a part two and possibly a part three depending on the length of the videos I don't want to make them too long um, like I said, um, all my links to all my socials are in the description, including my Discord. Um, that's it. That's it for today. That's all I have. Thank you for watching, and I really appreciate it. Um, all right. Bye-bye.